Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ariella. I make videos about medical school and my lifestyle as a second year medical student, but sometimes I do throw in the occasional Lululemon video because as you guys know, I'm a bit of a Lululemon fanatic and I like to share my collection with you guys. So I wanted to get into my shorts collection today because it's about to be spring and summer and Lululemon shorts always fly off the shelves because so many people want to get them when it's spring and summer. So I've been gathering a little collection over the past couple of years of Lululemon shorts so that I can wear them throughout the year whenever I need them. Sorry if you were hearing the air conditioning in the beginning, but it should be all good now. Yeah, so with that being said, we're gonna get right into my shorts collection. Definitely comment down below and let me know which style of shorts are your favorite or if there are some that I should try from Lululemon that you recommend. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the Track That Mid-Rise five inch short. So these probably rival the Hottie Hots for my favorite short. I'm not really sure which one I prefer, but I really enjoy these. They're not as high as I probably would like, but I can deal with that just to get that nice long five inch inseam that I feel like is really good whenever I'm doing a lot of activities because I have larger, more muscular legs. And so when I have shorts that are kind of loose and floppy like that, they tend to ride up and then I start to get some chafing between my thighs whenever I'm running. So that's a little uncomfortable. And so the track that short definitely helps with that a little bit. I still kind of have issues with them sometimes, but just for like casual everyday wear, I think they're really cute and very flattering and nice. So I have the track that short in a floral pattern in a size eight a digital looking pattern in a size six. And then I also recently just picked up a black and a water drop track that short in a size eight each. I picked those up last time I was home, which is why the footage of me trying them on is different. Overall, I do really like these shorts. They're one of my favorites. The only thing is if you don't like the built-in lining, these shorts definitely have those. And personally, I think I prefer the size eight, especially since the two new ones that I got seem to be a slightly tighter fit than the old one. I don't know if I'm just imagining that, or maybe it's just the black color specifically is a little smaller. I kind of have that with some of Lululemon's items where the black item will be smaller and tighter than an equivalently sized item that's a different color. I don't know if that has to do with like the dyeing process or the fabric fabric, but it's just something that I've noticed. So speaking of what I think are my favorite Lululemon shorts, we're going to move on to the Hottie Hot shorts. So these, again, are technically a high rise, but I find them to be more of like a true mid rise. But I think these shorts are very flattering. They have one of the larger pockets of the Lululemon shorts, so I can fit some things in them, especially my red ones, which I'll get to in a second. I don't know if I said, but I get all of my Hottie Hots in a size eight, and I think they're super comfortable. I wear them all the time. I just find them to be the most flattering Lululemon shorts and that probably has to do with like the rise on the waist. So I have my Heidi Hots in a neon pink color, a black. I have a cerulean blue, which is my favorite color from Lululemon. I think it's so pretty. Maybe also the water drop color might be a new favorite of mine, but cerulean blue has been my favorite color forever. So really like that color. And then I have them in the mesh edition, which was a special edition released last year. And those are in red. The red mesh one specifically has a huge side pocket made out of the mesh. So I find that that's probably the most convenient pair for me to wear whenever I'm going and walking somewhere and I have to have my phone if I'm not gonna bring like a bag or something. Huge fan of the Hottie Hots. I think everybody is, and it's just a matter of finding them in your size and in the style that you like. So for me, I get the high rise Hottie Hot, quote unquote, and then I get the four inch inseam because anything shorter than a four inch inseam tends to not go over super well with my legs unless I really size up because my legs just like eat them. Okay, so moving on to my last pair of kind of like athletic running shorts, 
I have a bunch of pairs of the tracker shorts. This was my original favorite short from Lululemon. I bought a bunch of them back when I was in college and I was still a size six. And so I ended up selling all of my size six tracker shorts and sizing up to an eight for all of the ones that I have now. They're just a really classic running short. One of the things that I like about the tracker shorts, the hottie hots and the track that shorts is that they don't have the venti things in the back like the speed up shorts do. The tracker shorts might, but if they do, they lie flat instead of like puffing out like the ones on the speed ups do. So that's why I tend to prefer these types of shorts compared to something like a speed up. So I have a bunch of pairs of tracker shorts. I have them in the daydream color, in black, in a pink color, which actually the lining of the short has ripped. I think it got caught in the washing machine and just kind of tore up a little. So I'm thinking about just cutting out the liners completely on that one because it really doesn't matter at this point, but let me know what you guys think I should do. I have them in a gray color, but I really wish the gray had been black on the inside rather than white. I feel like the white on the inside just kind of makes them look a little bit cheaper. So that's not my favorite, but I do really like the gray shorts. And then I also have them in a royal blue color, which is slightly different than the cerulean blue that I have in my hottie hots. I swear, they are different, maybe. Okay, so those are all of my favorite running style shorts. I'm gonna move on to biker shorts next. If you guys know me, you know that I am a huge oversized t-shirt and biker short gal. So I definitely have a lot of aligned biker shorts coming up, but we're gonna start off with something a little bit more athletic. And those are the fast and free biker shorts. All right, so in terms of the fast and free biker shorts, you've got a nice drawstring waist, which you have on basically every Lululemon pant out there except the Aligns and the Wonder Unders. You have a huge side pocket, which again, I am very thankful for. And overall, they're just a very comfortable, slick, athletic pair of biker shorts. So if I know that I'm gonna be going on a long hike or Recently, I've been working out at my apartment gym and it is boiling in there. There are no fans, there's no like vents, there's no way to open the windows. So whenever people are working out in there, it gets really hot. So I've noticed the last couple times that I have gone in leggings, I've been sweating buckets. So I actually wear my more athletic biker shorts so that I still feel a little bit covered up. I'm not wearing loose running shorts that are gonna like get caught on things or like, I don't know. I just find the biker shorts for the gym really nice. So I have a couple different pairs. I have the camo ones in the six inch inseam in a size eight. I actually recently just bought the plain black in a eight inch inseam in a size eight. And then I have an algae green in a size six six inch inseam. So for me right now, personally, I'm finding that I prefer the size eight. It just gives me a little bit more room and doesn't do that like sausagey thing on my legs, but sometimes like to have a couple pairs in different sizes just so that I can adjust based on like whether or not my legs are larger or smaller at the time. So that way I have a pair that will fit me whenever. So right now I'm preferring the eight. I have one pair of Wonder Train shorts and so these are the eight inch inseam in the size six for these I definitely wish I had sized up to a size eight all my wonder train leggings are a size six and they work just fine on me they don't slip down and that's why I opted for the size six in the wonder train shorts but I get like major sausage leg especially with that eight inch inseam where it just squeezes right above my knees. So I find these a little bit unflattering, but I think I'm still going to keep them and maybe I can stretch out that section a little bit or sell them online because they still have the tags on them. So you guys should let me know what I should do. I don't know. I should have gotten an eight, but I just missed the return window and now I'm kind of stuck with them. Okay. Align shorts. These are absolutely lovely. I adore Align shorts. I think they're some of the most fantastic, comfortable, 
biker shorts on the market and obviously they cost a pretty penny for a pair of biker shorts but personally I feel like they fit me the best. I've tried other biker shorts in the past from Aerie and Victoria's Secret and Amazon and I just think that all of them are really not as nice as the Align biker shorts so I would rather have one pair of those than like three or four pairs of the airy ones. That's not to say that everyone is going to feel that way. That just happens to be how like my body type is. I find the Lululemon ones the most flattering and the most comfortable. Okay, so I have these in kind of a range of different sizes and inseams so I'm just gonna tell you exactly which one is which. So starting off these are probably my favorite probably my most worn ones and they are the black camo in a size 8 in a 6 inch inseam. I got these in a size 8 because they didn't have any size 6s left and these just happen to be the shorts that I always throw on under my OMM lab shorts that are really short and tiny and I'm not comfortable wearing them so I put these on underneath because they're a bit looser than my other ones and they just are really comfortable so that happens to be the pair that I end up wearing the most. Moving on to my shorts that I have that are a size 6 and a 6 inch inseam, I have a bunch of different colors. Specifically, I believe these are Violet Verbena. I think they're either Violet Verbena or Lunar Rock, one of those, but I think it's the Violet. And then I have Sage Green, Black, and the Gray We Are from whatever battleship, I don't know. <laughs> It's like that super stretchy, super soft aligned material that everybody was freaking out over last year. That's that color. And then my last pair of Align shorts is a size 6 in the 8 inch inseam and it's the Align Cool Edition which came and I wasn't really expecting because it didn't list that online but I actually don't mind having them because when it's really hot outside I kind of like that soft but a little bit more slick material so I wasn't too upset with getting those. And yeah, overall I think if I was going to buy more Align shorts in the future, especially based on like my body right now, I would maybe get some more eights just because they're comfy and I sit down to study a lot. And I find that sometimes the sixes in the aligns, even my aligned pants can like squeeze my stomach when I'm hunching over with horrible posture. So yeah, that's probably what I would go for, but this is just my current collection. Okay, last up, we're gonna move on to some like random one-off shorts that I've tried and I don't have multiple pairs of. So I believe that these are called the Pace, fi Pace Finder Pace shorts or something like that. I'm not 100% sure what it's called. I have these in a size eight in the color black. These really just do not fit me correctly. Again, I have much larger, more athletic legs. And so my thighs like hang out the sides of them, which is not super flattering. If you were smaller or like you have really petite legs, I think these would look really nice on you because they've almost got like a flowy billowy kind of vibe. But because my legs are larger, it just tends to kind of like hike the shorts up and I find them just not super flattering. So I wear them around the house if it's really hot because they are an extremely thin, breathable material. So if no one's going to be seeing me, I do think they are pretty cozy for wearing around the house, but I would probably not wear them out, which is kind of annoying considering that these shorts were probably around $50 or $60. So should I really be owning a pair of $50 or $60? shorts that I can't wear out. I don't know. Next up I have the on the fly Luxstream shorts in a size 8. I do really like these but they definitely ride up on me a little bit. I still have them because I can make it work. It doesn't really bother me that much but that's just something that I deal with. It's totally fine and these are really cute, very flattering. I cinch the waist and it's a very cozy pair of shorts for any activity basically. You can dress it up or dress it down. And then lastly my pair of like on the move random category shorts are the spring breakaway shorts in a size 8 in Chianti. This Chianti color is like one of my favorite colors that Lululemon has ever made. I think it's incredibly gorgeous so I snagged these spring breakaway shorts during their like weird 
sale thing that happened over the summer and I think they're so cute. Again, kind of the same problem as the On The Fly Lux streams. They do ride up a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. I can deal with it. Okay guys, so that is my whole Lululemon shorts collection. I hope you enjoyed. And like I said before, definitely leave your recommendations down below or if you happen to have like some of the same favorites as me, tell me in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you.